Hey there, fellow campers. Welcome to our review on Kaya Manzi, a grassy resort on the banks of the Bronkelspreit Dam in Gauteng. It's tar all the way to just before the entrance, and then there's literally a few metres of gravel before your wheels will be gliding on the paved surface found throughout the resort. If you arrive on a Friday or Saturday, you'll fill in some paperwork at the first security boom. Otherwise, just drive down to reception and complete the formalities there. The land side perimeter is fenced or walled and we felt safe on the property, although we were within the second set of fences. There are two distinct areas for camping, one closer to the dam with private ablutions and the other being further away from the water's edge on large terrace grassy sites. Many of these campsites are in an area with very young trees and there is just no shade at all. Moving further back, you will find some lovely large shade trees. The sites are large, but there is little privacy being so open. These sites use shared ablutions, of which there are two blocks. The facilities do need a little work, but they are clean. There are toilets and basins, with the showers having a changing area, hooks and a small stool. Hot water is provided by gas geysers. Sites each have a dedicated three-pin power point, a built-in bry, and water taps and dustbins are shared between sites. Closer to the water and through a gate is another camping area with private ablutions. These sites are large in size, but are on a gentle slope down to the water, so a leveling box will be useful. The sites are open to the skies and there is only shade in the afternoon unless you can nestle yourself under one of the trees along the wall. Power is supplied through a three pin plug. The private ablution has a scullery area and a light on the porch while behind the door there is a toilet, a hand basin and a shower. It's a little utilitarian in design but everything was very clean and the gas geyser hot water was very hot. These sites have either or both a built-in or portable bra. There is another communal ablution near the day visitors area with showers, toilets and hand basins and these have taken a little abuse over time. There is a scullery area for the washing of dishes by day visitors. Kayamanzi also offers sticks and bricks chalet accommodation. For those not wanting to venture onto the dam, there are swimming pools and a water slide. But for those looking to have some fun on the water, there is a concrete slipway for the launching of watercraft. Fishing, boating, tubing, water skiing, canoes and jet skis abounded over the weekend that we were there. But just take note that the dam is now home to an invasive water hyacinth. But it was nice to see that a number of places along the shoreline were working to remove this rapidly growing vegetation. For the first two days of our stay, the water was calm and the sun shone, and everyone had a really great time. But on the Sunday afternoon, an unexpected wind came up, whipping the water into a frenzy of white caps and little waves, and people were soon scrambling to make it to the safety of the shore and to get their watercraft back onto dry land. Kaya Manzi seems to have a mixed pet policy. Small pets are welcome for overnight campers, but not for day visitors. There are a number of feral cats in the campsite that wander around day and night. Kaya Manzi does not have a backup generator and load shedding will result in there being no power at such times. On the technology front, we were able to do the usual of accessing the bank and emails and were able to stream on both Vodacom and MTN and we had good quality network and WhatsApp calls. On the subject of day visitors, there is an extensive grassed area with shaded larpers and magnificent willow trees along the water's edge. They also have two larpers for hire with an ablution, prep area, scullery and briars. Saturday was busy with cyclists and water sport enthusiasts. Sunday was quieter in terms of the number of people, but an on-site church offers services from about half past seven in the morning to 11 a.m. and the music does carry across much of the property. There is a casual place to eat on the premises offering basic fast food and a full bar where you can buy ice and wood. 
Just about one and a half kilometers from Kayamanzi, there is a fuel station, bottle store, ATM, and a very well-stocked OK Mini Mart. Overall, we had a very pleasant weekend with friends at Kayamanzi. Although it was busy with people and shade in the campsite was a rare commodity until later in the day. However, taking a picnic and sitting down at the water's edge under one of the large lovely shade trees, watching the antics on the water was a very relaxing way to spend a day. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, be well, and I hope to catch you in a campsite sometime. 